Arab League. Watch this space. <laughs> UAE top official calls for end to war chaos in Syria after Assad visit. Anwar Gargash, the diplomatic advisor to the UAE's president, has called for an end to the war and destruction in Syria amid rapprochement between Arab states and Damascus. In a tweet, Gargash reiterated his country's support for the return of Syria to its environment, noting that this was confirmed by the UAE president Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan during his Sunday meeting with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. A decade and a half war, violence, destruction is enough and it's time to enhance cooperation and solidarity among our Arab, Arab countries to ensure the stability and prosperity of the region, Gargish said. Syria's membership in the Arab League was suspended following the eruption of a foreign-backed militancy in the country in 2011. The UAE's approach and efforts towards brotherly Syria are part of a deeper version or vision of a broader approach aimed at strengthening Arab and regional stability and overcoming difficult years of confrontation, Gardner said. The UAE cut its relation with Syria in 2012, a year after the Damascus found itself in the grips of foreign-backed violence, but it reopened its embassy in Damascus in 2018. In the latest of developing thaw and ties between the two countries, Assad, accompanied by his wife, Asmar al-Assad, arrived in Abu Dhabi on Sunday for an official visit. It was her first foreign trip since 2011. Amid rapprochement between Arab states and Syria, reports said Saudi Arabia will reopen its consulate in the Syrian capital, Damascus, soon. Russia's Sputnik news agency cited sources as saying that diplomatic breakthrough is brokered by Russia and the UAE. According to the report, the consulate is expected to reopen after Al Eid al-Fitr, which will be celebrated late in April. The sources said the reopening will be preceded by a visit by the Saudi foreign minister to Damascus to meet President al-Assad and Syrian officials. Saudi Arabia closed its embassy in Damascus and withdrew all diplomats in March 2012. From MinuteMirror.com PK. Bashar al-Assad's UAE visit focused at diplomatic momentum of improved ties. The President of Syria Bashar al-Assad met with Emirati authorities on Sunday in Abu Dhabi on his second trip to the Gulf to spark renewed efforts to reunite Damascus with the Arab world. During high-level discussions at the presidential palace, the President of the UAE Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan received Assad and his wife Asma in the capital, according to the official news agency WAM. We held constructive talks aimed at developing relations between our two countries, the Emirati president said in a statement. Our discussions also explored ways of enhancing cooperation to accelerate stability and progress in Syria and the region, Sheikh Mohammed added. According to analyst Damascus's relations with Middle Eastern nations that had so far resisted normalization after more than a decade of conflict may benefit from the diplomatic momentum created in the wake of the earthquake. Anwar Gargash, a senior advisor to the Emirati president, said that the UAE strategy and actions towards Syria are part of a larger strategy and deeper vision aimed at enhancing Arab and regional stability. The UAE's position is clear regarding the nation and its return to its place in the Arab world and re regain legitimacy in the region, Gargash said on Twitter. According to a statement released by the Syrian president, Assad hailed the UAE's contribution to improving ties among Arab nations during their meeting. The Syrian president criticized the idea of cutting links between Arab groups as an incorrect paradigm in politics, adding that contacts should be fraternal, according to the statement. UAE calls for return of Syria back into the Arab family. This is from Bull News.
when President al-Assad arrived in Qatar when President al-Assad arrived in Qasr al Watan in Abu Dhabi he was greeted with a ceremonial reception Sheikh Mohammed escorted Syria's president to the platform where the Syrian national song was played and 21 rounds of artillery were fired to welcome his visit. Sheikh Thanun bin Zaid al Nayyan, National Security Advisor, Sheikh Mansour bin Zaid al Nayyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Ma Minister of the Presidential Court, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zaid al Nayyan, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Tanun al Nayyan, Advisor for Special Affairs of the Presidential Court Ministry, Ali Mohammed Haman al Shamsi, Secretary General of the Supreme Council for National Security, Dr. Anwar Gargar, Secretary. Dr. Samir Al Khalil, Syrian Minister of Economic and Foreign Trade, Mansur Fadlal Al Zam, Syrian Minister of Presidential Affairs, Patrus Al Halak, Syrian Minister of Information, Dr. Ayman Sosan, Syrian Deputy Foreign Minister, and Dr. Ghassan Abbas, Charge of Affairs of the Syrian Embassy in the UAE, comprised the Syrian President's delegation. Sheikh Mohammed and Bashar Al Assad met to discuss the two countries' fraternal relations and methods to increase collaboration and constructive collaborative effort that would contribute to attaining their mutual objectives. Sheikh Mohammed welcomed the Syrian president and his delegation to his second country during the meeting at Qasr al Wata. He noted that the tour falls in the same month as the Syrian president's visit to the country in March of last year. Sheikh Mohammed expressed his sympathies to Syria's president and the Syrian people for the earthquake victims. He emphasized his belief in Syria's capabilities and the commitment of its people to overcome this adversity and usher the country into a new era. Syria's absence from its brothers has been long, and it's time for its return to its Arab surroundings, Sheikh Mohammed said. He emphasized the importance of making every effort to facilitate the dignified return of Syrian refugees to their country. Sheikh Mohammed expressed the UAE support for the conversation between Syria and Turkey in order to achieve progress on the issue of relocating refugees. He emphasized the UAE's unwavering support for Syria and its people. He lauded the UAE-Syrian community and stressed the importance of the UAE-Syria connection. The discussions also addressed the significance of building on recent regional advancements in order to promote stability, security, prosperity for the region's governments and people. Sheikh Mohammed welcomed al-Assad's visit to the UAE and emphasized the necessity of reintegrating Syria into the Arab world by bridging gaps and establishing ties among loyal Arab countries. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad emphasized that UAE had always taken sensible and ethical positions and that it plays a good and useful role in the Middle East to ensure strong inter-Arab relations. Al-Assad emphasized that the participation of the UAE is consistent with the Syrian objective, which is to improve inter-Arab relations in preparation for unified Arab action. He praised Sheikh Mohammed, the UAE government, and the people of the UAE for their aid to Syrians in the aftermath of the catastrophic earthquake. And from Tazanim News, UAE, Syri UAE Syrian presidents discuss Middle East stability in bilateral talks. The presidents of the United Arab Emirates and Syria, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan and Bashar Assad, respectively held talks in Abu Dhabi on Sunday to discuss the positive dynamics in the Middle East and, and ways to achieve stability in Arab countries. Assad arrived in the UAE earlier in the day with a delegation of ministers for the bilateral talks. Assad's office stated on Telegram that the talks touched upon bilateral relations between the countries and ways of strengthening them and also focused on achieving stability in the region. The UAE's president emphasized the importance of building strong relations between all Arab states and returning Syria to the Arab world. The leaders also discussed economic cooperation. This visit marks the second time Assad has visited the Persian Gulf country since the earthquake that hit Syria and Turkey in February. Abu Dhabi has already approved 100 million in aid and sent hundreds of tons of humanitarian aid to Syria to help alleviate the disastrous consequence. And from College Times, 
Watch, it's time for Syrians to return to their Arab family, says UAE president. Reassuring the earthquake survivors and victims, Sheikh Mohammed emphasized the country's solidarity, saying UAE is with you in heart and spirit. The UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan, welcomed Syrian President Bashar al Assad at Qasr al Bhutan on Sunday and said, It's our aim to build relations with you. We wish to extend and strengthen the bridges between us and the people of Syria. Sheikh Mohammed posted a montage video of Assad's historic visit to the country, and during the bilateral talk, he said, To the people of Syria, it's been too long, and you've been missed. It's time for the Syrians to return to the Arab family. Sheikh Mohammed offered his condolences to the Syrian president and the people of Syria for the earthquake victims. He emphasized UAE solidarity with Syria and added, Your brothers in the UAE with you are with you in heart and in spirit. From Al Monitor, Assad's UAE visit aims to facilitate aid routes and Syria's return to Arab League. Proposals to facilitate humanitarian aid and bring Syria back to the Arab League top the agenda in the Syrian president's visit to the United Arab Emirates since the beginning of the civil war. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad arrived in Abu Dhabi on Sunday on his second official visit to the United Arab Emirates. Discussions on bringing Syria back into the Arab League are gaining momentum as well as in ways to bring more economic aid into the country. Assad arrived in the UAE on Sunday for his second trip to the oil-rich country and was greeted with great ceremony. Fighter jets escorted the Syrian delegation into UAE airspace, and it was welcomed by the country's president, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, on the tarmac. Syria's first lady, Asma al-Assad, was personally welcomed by UAE's first lady, Sheikh Fatima bin Mubarak, in a rare public appearance. The trip came at a high point of Arab re-engagement with Assad after years of his political isolation and amid efforts to bring Syria back into the Arab League. It was expelled in 2011 following Assad's brutal crackdown on the uprising. The visit to the UAE followed Assad's trip to Russia last week and to Oman. And let's take a moment to look at the uh, clip. Roll the volume. علاقة ومد جسور وتقوية هذا الجسر بينه وبين أهلنا في سوريا فائدة طرفين. This is Zayed to the people of Syria. It's been far too long, and you've been missed. It's time for the Syrians to return to their Arab family. It's our aim to build relations with you. We wish to extend and strengthen the bridges between us and the people of Syria for the benefit of both sides. May Allah bless you and the people of Syria. With Allah's will and your leadership and the efforts and determination of the Syrian people, You'll overcome this challenge. Your brothers in the UAE are with you in heart and spirit. 
that Asad, thank you for your highness. He who does not thank the people is not thankful to Allah. Therefore, it's essential to start with Syria. Today, after a month has passed, when Syrians speak, what state is the absolute certainty that the UAE supports Frederick alone? This is the most valuable thing that can be offered. Additionally, with Allah's will, we too will remain committed to this relationship. I came to know Sheikh Zayed, and may he rest in peace through a brief inter encounter. My father had a deep bond with him. I came to know him through occasional meetings, and it became clear that he was a kind and beloved person. Today I can see this picture even more clearly, and we appreciate God exactly the kind of country he built and the family he raised. Allah bless you, Mr. President. I'd like to assure you that we are brothers, we're family. We're honored by your presence today, and we hope this visit will be the foundation to help build a strong bridge to help establish relationships. That'll serve the in interests of our entire region. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. We'll be back with more news.